in the Saharan desert of North Africa, surrounding the fertile soil of the Nile Valley, lies Egypt, a land of astonishing wonder and unparalleled beauty. Historically, one of the most advanced ancient civilizations of its time. Even until this day, the mysteries and secrets of the only surviving wonder of the ancient world dumbfound the most sophisticated engineers and scholars of today. Some of the greatest rulers to have walked this earth have come from the land of Egypt. Hatshepsut, Nefertiti and Amenhotep, Tutankhamun, and Ramses. Religion and devotion to the supernatural are evident throughout the history of Egypt. Countless artifacts, writings, monuments, temples, and tombs embody the understanding of an afterlife in the Pharaonic Age. With the advent of Jesus Christ, Christianity dominated the Egyptian landscape for the first few centuries AD. Since the 7th century, the religious devotion of the Egyptian people has continued under the cross and the crescent, where Muslims currently make up the majority of Egypt's population. The word Coptic traces its roots to the age of the pharaohs. Egypt's pharaonic name was Hekupta, meaning house of the energy of Ptah. Ptah being the religious name for Memphis, ancient Egypt's capital city. This in turn evolved into the Greek name Aegyptos, and then the Arabic name Kipt or Gipt, from which we derive the names Egypt and Copt. Therefore, the words Coptic and Egyptian are synonymous. Over time, the words Coptic and Christian have also become interchangeable. The Coptic language is still used today in the church's worship and hymns. Its letters evolved from the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs and currently bear many similarities with Greek. In fact, the Coptic alphabet is comprised of the 24 letters of the Greek alphabet and seven letters unique to the Coptic language. The word Orthodox literally means straight opinion. The Orthodox Church has kept her same Christian faith and teachings since the time of Jesus Christ and his followers, the Apostles. The Orthodox Church has a direct connection to the early Christian Church. The sources of Orthodox Christian teaching have passed from one generation to the next through both oral and written tradition. These sources include the Holy Bible, ancient liturgies, rites, and prayers, the acts of the Christian martyrs and saints, the writings of the early church fathers, and the very spirit of the church's life. To understand how Christianity spread in the land of Egypt, we must look back further to the age of the pharaohs. The Greek historian Herodotus described the Egyptians as excessively religious, more so than any other people in the world. Ancient Egyptian civilization centered around religion in all its activity. The people of ancient Egypt had an optimistic view of the world and a belief in the afterlife. Although polytheistic, the religion of the ancient Egyptians came to identify Amun-Ra, the great god of Thebes, as the most important. The ancient Egyptians also carried a tradition that Osiris, the Egyptian god of the underworld, was murdered by his violent and jealous twin brother Set. However, Osiris resurrected and received eternal life. Against the backdrop of these mythological stories, the minds of the Egyptians were ready to embrace 
the reality of Christianity. In the Holy Bible, the Gospel according to St. Matthew tells the story of the Holy Family's flight to Egypt. Jesus and his family found refuge there as they fled the persecution by Herod the Great, King of Judea. Although the Bible is silent about the details of this journey, much has passed on to the Church through oral and written tradition. The Holy Family made a number of stops along the Nile Valley. Since then, monasteries and churches have been established all over Egypt in places where the Holy Family visited or stayed. After his resurrection, Jesus Christ sent his disciples and apostles to preach Christianity to the whole known world at that time. St. Mark, one of the four Gospel writers and an apostle, preached in Alexandria and founded its church in the year 48. For this reason, the Coptic Church recognizes St. Mark as her first pope. Since then, the Church has ordained bishops, priests, and deacons to provide pastoral care for the Church. Because these clergy come from a continuous line that traces back to the Apostle Mark, the Coptic Church is considered an apostolic church. To illustrate this point, His Holiness Pope Shenouda III, the current leader of the Coptic Orthodox Church, is the 117th Patriarch Successor of St. Mark. Today, the Coptic Church continues to flourish in Egypt and abroad. There are churches in over 100 dioceses on all the inhabited continents of the world. There are well over 160 churches in North America, including about 40 churches in California alone. The Coptic Church has also established monasteries in the United States, Australia, and Europe.